Today in the Daily Dose, Rembrandt. Born in 1606, Leiden, Holland, Rembrandt von Rijn studied briefly at the University of Leiden before apprenticing for three years under a local painter, followed by a brief apprenticeship in Amsterdam under Peter Lastman. Born after the Protestant Reformation had stifled most church-related commissions for artists, Rembrandt returned to Leiden seeking commissions from wealthy individuals, soon developing a reputation as a painter of historical subjects. Returning to Amsterdam in 1631, the most prosperous port city in Northern Europe, Rembrandt lodged in the home of art dealer Hendrik von Eilenberg. And as Rembrandt's reputation and wealth began to skyrocket, he met and married Eilenberg's young cousin Saskia, losing three children in a row, just months or even weeks after their birth. Rembrandt's preoccupation with direct observation continued to evolve his style as his talents matured, producing compelling works rich in light, space, atmosphere, and texture, reflecting human situations with uncanny realism and emotion. He was also an excellent teacher to many up-and-coming young artists, including Jarrett Dow, Govert Flick, Ferdinand Ball, Nicolaes Maas, and Kirill Fabricius. By 1639, Rembrandt had become the most successful artist in Amsterdam, allowing he and Saskia to move into a grand home, which is now called the Rembrandt House Museum. That same year, Rembrandt was exposed to prints by Italian artists of his time, such as Caravaggio's use of dramatic lighting techniques, injecting his later works with an extraordinary impression of the living, thinking mind behind his human subjects. Also known for his etchings and drawings, after Saskia passed away following the birth of their fourth son Titus, Rembrandt began a controversial relationship with his son's nurse, Jurch Dirks, before falling in love with his maidservant, Hendriki Stoffels. Despite declaring his insolvency in 1656, Rembrandt continued to produce an extraordinary volume of paintings, including such masterworks as the syndics of the Amsterdam Drapers Guild. In his later years, Rembrandt's mastery of light and shadow, known as chiaroscuro, instilled his paintings with a deep impression of human emotion, employing impasto layers and a rich spectrum of colors and textures which faithfully captured the soulful humanity of his subjects. He died penniless on October 4, 1669, leaving behind a massive volume of work which heavily influenced painters of the 18th and 19th centuries, making the life and works of Rembrandt von Rijn a lasting gift for art lovers everywhere. And there you have it, Rembrandt, today in the Daily Dose. If you like learning something new every day, subscribe to the Daily Dose on YouTube or sign up for emails at dailydosenow.com.